I'm going to introduce you to a new tool that I uh, just discovered here this past week on my Twitter PLN. Um, I've been playing around with it and it seems like it's it's pretty neat and pretty interactive. Um, it's called ThingLink and you can find it at www.thinglink.com. And what ThingLink is is basically taking an image and making it interactive with touch points. Uh, and it's really simple to do and even simpler to share. So I've been playing with it a little bit and I'm going to um, put a, do a quick project and show you how I use it with my class. Um, so first of all, uh, we'll log into ThingLink and signing up for an account was extremely simple. No hoops to jump through. You can log in with Twitter or log in with Facebook, but I just set up a regular account. And so now I'm logged in, and um, the first thing I do over here is I click Create. And you can upload images from your hard drive, or you can just drag an image right off your desktop or out of a folder right into the space. So right now I'm working with my digital publishing class um, about some elements of design and specifically um, elements of poster design, and we've been kind of going through those things in class, and so I thought I'd just make... Um, one of uh, a little uh, reminder for them that they could refer back to um, on our class page. So what I did was I, I just found an image on uh, Google Images of a of a, um, a a poster that had some good design elements to it, and it's sitting on my desktop. So I'm just going to drag it right into this space. Okay, and there it sits. It says it's successfully uploaded, and now it's going to go to the image. Okay, so there's the image. Now, um, one of the things that ThingLink lets me do is allows other people to edit it. So if I check this, what this means is that later, other people can also add touch buttons to this poster. Um, but right now, um, I just this is just something I want kind of as a one-way interaction for my students, but I know that that's kind of a cool thing to add later, and students could also add touch tags to it as well. So I'm going to give it a title, and I'll call it Elements of Good Poster Design, okay, and I'm going to save it. I'm not going to add a tag right at the moment. I don't have any images in ThingLink, so... I'm not going to really do that yet. So it's really easy to start editing this. Um, what I want to draw attention to is the title. That's, you know, most important information. And so um, I'm going to go ahead and just click on it. Oops, I forgot to hit edit, sorry. I have to do this when I'm in edit mode. And so I just click on the title right here to add a touch point, And I'm just going to add a description. So I've just added a touch icon up there. Um, I want to point out that this poster has a nice balance to it, so I want to put a touch button there to point that out. Okay. And... Um, kind of important information is down here um, and so I want to point out because it's in smaller font and this is the kind of stuff like this is what brings people in posters or advertisements so I want to point that out and then down here this is the least important information. Okay, so I've put a lot of text touch points on this, and I'd like to also add um, a video touch point to it as well. So I'll just click right here, maybe on the bottle, and I've got a video um, about graphic design. Um, it's called Graphic Design Projects, How to Design an Advertising Poster, and I'd like to attach that. So I'm going to copy the URL, 
and I'm just going to paste it right in there. Put a little description, I don't have to put that there. Okay, so now I've got several touch points on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And there it is. Now here's a really cool thing I figured out about this. It's not obvious about the program because I like to take stuff like this and embed it into my class site. And so um, I found out that I can do this by clicking the share button. And initially what I could see is that, you know, I can put on Facebook, post on Twitter, Pinterest, email it to myself, but I just don't see any place where I can get that embed code to blog it. Well, I thought this was really cool because there's a button here that says share on Edmodo, which is cool enough um, if you're using Edmodo for your class site. But if you're using something else like a, a web page or a wiki or a blog, this is also really useful. So I just clicked the E for the Edmodo and it gives me that HTML code that you need to embed. So I clicked on it and I copied it. And now I'm going to go back over to my class page and here's my digital publishing class. I use wiki pages for this. And right now um, we're using a design pad app to make posters. And so I think I'm going to put this uh, image, this interactive image from ThingLink right down here on my page. Um, oops. Sorry. So I'm going to edit my wiki page and right down here under this last thing that I put I'm going to embed that um, HTML code. So there now, there it is and I click save. And so when my students come to this page with these resources, um, they can go down here and see this cool example of a poster, but now it's an interactive poster because it's got those touch points on it that I added. So my students can click here, and I didn't even click that, I just, it's, I just rolled over it, and I, they see the information I typed in. Here they can see the information I typed in about balance. Here are the information about uh, somewhat important information in smaller font. And here um, is the video that I attached. And actually the cool thing is, is they can click on that and they can view this video My name is Carl right Lynch. here. I'm a graphic designer and this segment is on how to create an advertising poster. So there they've got access to the video without ever leaving the site or even leaving the image. So I thought that that was um, a really cool uh, deal for, um, and, and it does differentiate for instruction. It allows students to um, easily see important information and it's placed in a spot that is helpful to them. Um, they can get video information. You can attach MP3 files to it. There's just a lot of possibilities here that I think are really neat and that visual element for differentiated instruction I thought was, was pretty cool and I, I hope everybody agrees that this was really a pretty easy app to use.